Hi guys, something simple. Uh, My new fourth axis just came. It's a harmonic drive, 1 to 50, and I have a problem with it straight away. It's not a big one, and we can fix it quite easily. The slots for my pins are too narrow, so we have made them a little bit bigger. So let's see how we can do that. This is free float 8mm end mill used to cut slots. In the background you can hear a high pitch noise. This is because the RPM is too high. In the background you can hear a high pitch noise. This is because the RPM is too high. and now it fits perfectly. So let's begin a setup process. A fourth axis is being fixed onto the machine table. Quick adjustment, tightening up the screws, I am using dial and 1 inch steel bar to set up the 4th axis. It is done in 3 steps. Firstly, I check if the stock is concentric. Secondly, I check if the bar is parallel to the table. And finally, I place dial at the side of the bar and check if it is parallel to the X axis. This is rough cutting. With 12mm fluid carbide roughening mill, 
with three and a half step over. You can hear that this is basically all that this machine can handle. This picture was taken with a shutter speed 1 to 4 thousandth of a second. You can see big chunks of aluminum flying all over. Now I am using 3 fluid 4mm end mill which sticks out a bit too much. How do I know it? You will see later. Winter comes to stay And love is 
an addiction that makes beggars of us all And I shall take whatever comes my way change and we back in business. So if you like what you saw so far, please subscribe, like and wait for the next video. See ya! All designs shown in this video are owned by Newt CNC. They are covered by intellectual property rights and it is illegal to copy them. At least for now. <laughs>